question three. The masses of boxes of oranges are normally distributed such that 30% of them are greater than 4 kg and 20% are greater than 4.53 kg. Estimate the mean and standard deviation of the masses. We're going to start the question by let x be the random variable. x is the mass in kg of a box of oranges. x follows normal mu sigma square. In this question, we need to find mu and sigma square. We have been given in the question that 30 of them are greater than 4. So, probability of x greater than 4 is 0 0.3. 30% and 20% are greater than 4.53. So probability of x greater than 4.53 is equal to 20% which is 0 0.2. Next, we are going to standardize. We have probability of z greater than 4 minus mu. We divide by the sigma this equals 0 0.3. We're going to do the same thing for this one. So we have probability of z greater than 4.53 minus mu. We divide by the sigma equals 0 0.2. Here we're going to say let a equals 4 minus mu over sigma. Here we're going to say let b equals 4.53 minus mu over sigma. So we have probability of z greater than a equals 0 0.3. Probability of z greater than b equals 0 0.2. Now let's see. We have greater than a. And the probability is less than 0 0.5, which means A must be positive. Here, we have a probability of 0 0.2. Again, less than 0 0.5. B also must be positive. So, probability of Z greater than A. A being positive, we have 1 minus phi of A equals 0 0.3. We make A subject of formula. We have phi of A is equal to 0 0.7. A phi inverse of 0 0.7. We use the table in reverse. We get A. For this one, we use the same principle. Greater than B, where probability is less than 0 0.5. So B is positive. So 1 minus phi of b equals 0 0.2. So we have phi of b equals 0 0.8. b is phi inverse of 0 0.8. So we look for 0 0.7, 0 0.8 in the table. 0 0.7, we do not have the exact value, but we need to find a value below it. We need a value of 0 0.6 something. So 0 0.7019, no, we're going to take 0 0.6985. 7,000, you minus 6985, we have 15. 4, we don't take above 15, we take below 15, which is 14. So we have 0 0.524. Now 0 0.8. Again, we do not have the exact value. We're going to take a value below 0 0.8, which is 0. Point, here, 0 0.7995. So it is the same as 0 0.84. So we have 0 0.84, minus 5. We have 5, 2. So B equals 0 0.842. Now we have A and B. We're going to replace in here and in here respectively. So we have 4 minus mu over sigma 
equals 0 0.524. Here we have 4.53 minus mu divided by sigma, we have 0 0.842. We simplify this equation, we have something like this. 4 minus mu equals 0 0.524 sigma. Let's group the mu and sigma together. We have 0 0.524 sigma plus mu equals 4. We have a first equation. Here we have 0 0.842 sigma. You add mu equals 4.53. We have a second equation. So two equations, two unknowns. We are going to use the simultaneous equation to find mu and sigma. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. We are going to use the easiest method, which is the elimination method. We are going to eliminate mu. So we have 0 0.524 minus 0 0.842. which is negative 0 0.318 sigma equals negative 0 0.53. Making sigma subject of formula, we have 0 0.53 divided by the answer. So 1.67. So sigma is 1.67 kg. Replace sigma in either one of these equations. So we have 0 0.52 for sigma which is 1.667 plus mu equals multiply by 0 0.524 and then 4 minus the answer we have 3.13 to three significant figures so mu is equal to 3.13 kg so we have the mean mu is equal to 3.13 kg and sigma equals 1.67 kg.